chemistry class today we are going to discuss the topic vscpr theory and the examples of vscpr theory okay so here we discuss shapes of molecules containing bond periods only so in these examples we discuss only bond pairs there is no lone pairs in that molecules so vscpr theory examples shapes of molecules containing bond pairs only okay first example is beryllium fluoride bef2 bef2 is beryllium fluoride okay beryllium fluoride so in beryllium fluoride beryllium is the central atom beryllium is the central atom and atomic number of beryllium is 4 okay atomic number of beryllium is 4 so and the valence electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 okay 1s2 2s2 so outermost shell has only two electrons so be has two electrons so be is surrounded by beryllium is surrounded by two fluorine atoms so here we have two fluorine atoms with the seven electrons 2 4 6 7 electrons so like that two fluorine atoms are there so there are two bond pairs of electrons two bond pairs so beryllium forms two bonds with fluorine so you get this molecule say bef2 okay this is a linear molecule linear molecule shape of the molecule is linear because on a line and the bond angle is 180 degree bond angle is 180 degree 180 that is all about beryllium okay now we can discuss the second example that is uh, beryllium sorry boron fluoride boron trifluoride bf3 boron trifluoride or bf3 so in bf3 here in beryllium fluoride beryllium does not follow octet rule but fluorine follows the octet rule and in beryllium sorry boron trifluoride bf3 is boron trifluoride and boron is the central atom which has the lowest number which is in lowest number so atomic number of boron it is 5 atomic number of boron is 5 so the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s3 so the most shell has three electrons okay so boron with the three electrons okay and the fluorine fluorine with the seven electrons okay so one bond is there and here also one bond two bond and this is a third bond okay so boron forms three bonds with uh boron trifluoride uh, uh, fluorine and boron forms three bonds with the fluorine and you get bf3 and here the structure is like this bf3 structure is like this and it is known as trigonal planar the name of the structure is trigonal trigonal planar that is the name of the structure and the bond angle is 120 degree each bond angle is 120 degree and the bond angle 120 degree with the trigonal planar shape here these two bonds stay as far as possible in the case of beryllium fluoride adondana ad 180 degree distance keep cheyyanad that is a maximum distance between these two bonds okay and here in this trigonal planar structure these three bonds are there in boron trifluoride and this is a maximum structure sorry maximum uh, distance uh, they can keep between them between fluorine atoms that is our vscpr theory so these bonds bond pairs try to stay as far as possible to attain the maximum stability and to minimize the repulsion between the bond pairs that is our theory that is our postulate okay now we can move on to the third uh, example that is ch4 third example is ch4 so in the third example 
Here we have carbon, central atom is carbon. So atomic number of carbon is 4, electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2. So uh, 2p2, 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So carbon has 4 electrons in its valence shell. So it needs 4 more electrons to complete its object. So it forms 4 bonds with hydrogen. So CH4. And the structure of CH4 is like this. Structure of CH4 is like this. And this structure is known as tetrahedral structure. And this is known as tetrahedral structure with bond angle 109 degree 28 minute. That is the bond angle. 109 degree 28 minute. So in CH4, this is a three dimensional structure. 3D structure. This is a 3D or 3 dimensional structure. So here, here carbon forms 4 bonds with hydrogen and you get CH4. Okay. Now we can move on to the next example that is PCL5. The next example is PCL5 that is phosphorus pentachloride. Okay. PCL5. So phosphorus uh, is having 5 electrons in its valence shell. So phosphorus forms 5 bonds with the chlorine atom. 5 bonds with the chlorine atom. So this is a bond. Okay. And 2 bonds, 1 bond is uh, above the blade and 1 bond is below the blade. Okay. This is a structure of PCL5 and this bond angle is 120 degree and this bond angle is 90 degree. Okay. This is the structure which is known as trigonal bipyramidal. This structure is known as trigonal bipyramidal structure. Trigonal bipyramidal structure. So in the case of PCL5, it is an example for super octet molecule. This is an example for super octet molecule. And phosphorus forms 5 bonds with the chlorine atom. And these three chlorine atoms, the triangular and monochlorine atoms, these three chlorine atoms are on the same, same plane. And this chlorine atom is above the plane, and this chlorine atom is below the plane. And the bond angle, this plane is on the bond angle 120 degree, and this bond angle is 90, and this is also 90. A plane uh, above the uh, bond number bond angle is 90 degree always. And the structure is known as Trigonal bipyramidal structure. Okay. And the last example of this bond pairs is SF6, that is sulfur hexafluoride. Okay. This is the uh, fifth example sulfur hexafluoride. In sulfur hexafluoride, sulfur has six electrons in its outermost shell. So, sulfur can form six bonds with the fluorine atom. So, we can take the example. Sulfur, okay, forms six bonds with the fluorine atom. It is like this. And one fluorine is above the plane and one fluorine is below the plane. And you get, you will get a structure like this. Okay. And the bond angles, all the bond angles are 90 degree. All the bond angles are uh, 90 degree, 90 degree. Okay. And this structure is known as octahedral structure. Octahedral structure. Okay. So this is trigonal bipyramidal structure and in SF6 the structure name is known as octahedral structure. Okay. So these four fluorine atoms are on the same plane and one fluorine is above the plane and one fluorine is below the plane. To minimize the repulsion and to attain the maximum stability these six fluorine atoms stay as far as possible. That's what our VSCPR theory. Okay. Now we can move on to the shapes of molecules containing bond pairs and lone pairs. Containing bond pairs as well as lone pairs. Next category. Bond pairs and lone pairs. Okay. Bond pairs and lone pairs. Okay. So the first example in this category is ammonia. First example is NS3. As we already studied, NS3 is known as ammonia. So in NS3, 
ammonia at atomic number of nitrogen is 7 okay electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p3 so nitrogen has 5 electrons in its outermost shell out of 5 electrons one two electrons are lone pair that is one pair is lone pair okay so nitrogen forms three bonds with the hydrogen so this is lone pair it is in an orbit orbital lone pair and the other three electrons form uh, bond with the hydrogen and you get ammonia molecule okay so here nitrogen forms three bonds with the hydrogen atom and one uh, bond sorry one pair two electrons are lone pair there is a lone pair of electron and nitrogen atom so due to the presence of lone pair of electron these bond pairs come closer so that the bond angle decreases we have studied that the repulsion between the lone pair and bond pair is high when you compare with the bond pair bond pair so here bond pair bond pair repulsion as well as lone pair bond pair repulsion is there so uh, the three bonds come very closer and the bond angle is 107 degree actually the bond um, bond angle should be 109 degree 28 minute due to the presence of lone pair of electron the structure of ammonia is distorted and the bond angle is decreased to, to 107 degree and you are getting a pyramidal shape for ammonia molecule pyramidal shape for ammonia molecule this is known as pyramidal shape okay so bond angle is 107 degree so the structure is distorted so you get a distorted structure ivide nammude ammonia ede case ch4 inde molathe oru structure irundayirunnu but the structure is distorted due to the presence of lone pair of electron due to the presence of lone pair of electron okay now we can move on to the next example of this category that is last example that is water is to home okay so we have studied that in the case of water oxygen is a central atom oxygen so oxygen atomic number of oxygen it is 8 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p4 okay that is electronic configuration of oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 that means 8 electrons are there in the case of oxygen atom so outermost electron number of outermost electron 6 so oxygen has two lone pairs oxygen has two lone pairs one is here and one is here and forms two bonds with oxygen atom so this is one lone pair and this is another lone pair so the here we have lone pair lone pair repulsion lone pair bond pair repulsion as well as bond pair bond pair repulsion okay so this is lone pair bond pair repulsion and this is also lone pair bond pair repulsion this is bond pair bond pair repulsion and this one is lone pair lone pair repulsion so due to the presence of these two lone pairs these two hydrogen atoms come closer come closer and you get a bond angle of 104.5 degree the bond angle is 104.5 degree and the shape of the molecule is V shape or bend shape inverter V the shape of the molecule is V shape or bend shape so here in oxygen uh, on oxygen atom we have two lone pairs of electron so due to the presence of two lone pairs these two hydrogen atoms come closer this is very close these two hydrogen atoms are very close so the bond angle is again decreased from 107 degree to 104.5 degree no no so the shape of the molecule is v shape and bend so due to the presence of lone pair the structure is distorted okay that is all about the examples of vscpr theory containing both lone pair and bond pair and containing only bond pairs of electrons only that is all about today's topic Thank you.